WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrial finish up 564, NASDAQ up 232, S&P's up 78. Gold, gold contract up $5.40, trading at 1993 an ounce. We had silver up 8 cents, $22.87 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $2, $82.41 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note up 19 ticks, trading 107.15. The 30-year up a full two points plus six ticks at 112. 20 and King Dollar. King Dollar down 742 ticks, trading 106, 142, Euro 106, Yen 150, British Pound 122 to 1 US dollar. Get over and take a look at the S&Ps, folks. Bottom line is that you had higher price, you moved with conviction, meaning that you, bottom line, you had the wide price spread out here. We come in with uh, 87 million, so that we get the volume behind the move. Uh, we're at the 430 right now. 433 is the next step to get the S&P inside the higher range. We, we jumped inside one range yesterday. Next range is going to be the 433. We go into the NDX 100, and then, you know, Apple's going to be coming out with four, at 415 with the numbers, which are going to affect the S&P and the Qs. We look at the Qs, the bottom line inside the Qs is that you get 53 million shares traded. Uh, that never even broke the 200, and it's already in the higher range. So the Qs are on the way up. This uh, number here, the, the 360, or the 387, actually, we're, we're 363. Now, it's going to be intriguing when Apple comes out. Keep this in mind, okay? You see this gap here? So we get a, we get a nice gap inside the marketplace, okay? So how Apple performs tonight is going to make a difference. And, you know, you just if you're not long yet, uh, the bottom line, you just might have a shot to get long if Apple basically, you know, gives it up on price, you know, because even with Apple giving it up on price, yeah, you get a quick pullback, but that's all that you're going to have is a quick pullback. We're going to take a look at the uh, dollar, because the dollar, well, notes and bonds are ruling the market too, but let's get to the dollar, because I only get 45 seconds left here. So if you take a look at the dollar, what you're going to see with the dollar, you're building cars for lower price. We're at 106, 144. The number to keep your eye on is going to be the 104,699. I expect we're going to get down there. And as we get down there, this is where you're going to put a couple indicators together. When you get down there, it's going to be one of, the, one of those deals that, you know, you take a look at it and say, okay, is this where we're going to bounce? Is this where we're going to have a little counter trend bounce? What's going to happen there? Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Don't forget about our man, Mr. Tim Ward. You want to understand those ratios? Next Tuesday, go sign up right now. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.